Hi everybody, it's Linda G coming to you later in the day here in, uh, in Northern California. But I wanted to take time out to say I do have a couple of predictions, but I wanted uh, a lot of people have sent lovely gifts and stuff. Sorry, I can't bring, get rid of that glare on my glasses. If you have any instructions how to do that. So um, the lovely lady that did the um, dog portraits of Lulu and Jack wanted me to give her a shout out again. And I'll put this down below. Um, but she's, hold on, where is she? <laughs> I have my, the wrong, the wrong letter here. Oh shoot, where is she? I'll find it. I was trying to get everything together. Here she is. Okay, so her name is Crystal, C-O-R-R-E-A. She's a graphic designer. www.girlonarts.com and she's doing Houston's Pets Alive. She donates to that. But she wanted to know, she does digital prints, crochet art, and will be adding metaphysical tarot cards to her site. So I'll put her information below. And um, I got this book, and I have to fight, because I went to New York, all my stuff got messed up. But whoever sent this book looks really good. It's that... Um, it's that legal correspondent affairs. It's dinners with Ruth, Ruth Ginsburg's a memoir. And I'm looking forward to reading that. Thank you very much. Nina, what's her name? Totenberg, Totenberg. So I guess they were good friends. So I'm looking forward to reading that. My friend Judy made this for me. A little, another little eyeglass case. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, and then um, the Explorers Club, Open Heart Club, sorry, Grief Journal. Christine Madrid Val Valenzuela. Um, this is how how does one open up and capture and, and express all the dark and heavy complicated feelings, the flood of the flood, the period of grief. In this journal, the author has shared her most intimate and precious details. So, Open Heart Club. Christine Madrid, Venezuela. Okay, and then I have, um, look at this. This is cool. Somebody sent this to me. Um, some people that watch me. I thought it was real cool. Last year, we both had a reading from you, and what you told us has come true. After years of infertility, our baby girl is due November. And they did a little card for me. A little, boo, see, she's pregnant. Isn't that wonderful? Good news, that happens quite often. Um, the Medicine Way, Kenneth Meadows. Shamic's Path to Self-Master. The Medicine Way. Thank you, Kenneth. We're gonna to have to really get into this. Um, the next one, ooh, this looks good. The Encyclopedia of Native American Health. Now, I don't know, this looks really good. I don't know who sent this. Hold on. Could be Marva Samuels, because there's a, a note right underneath it. Very nice, very nice. I'll let you know. My son said, Mom, have you looked into the the medicine uh, encyclopedia? And then these were put together. So, oh, no, Marva Samuels is this one. She sent me two books. Spiritual Awakening. Thank you, Marva. Letting Go for Love, Balance, and Harmony. And... Searching Soul for Truth and Light. Very nice. Look at that brook, like I always like to look at. The little brook there. So thank you, you guys. And I'll get the thank you out for this. I have to find out who sent the encyclopedia. 
If you're watching, write me at grindle9103 at gmail.com. Thank you, you guys. And if I miss somebody, I'm so sorry. I'm just it's been going cray cray. Okay, so here we go. Got a hit. Got to tell you the hit I got. It was real weird. I think I was talking to uh, our astrologer, Andre, when I saw it. But I didn't want to bring it up with him because that was offset what we were talking about. But what I saw was, this is just a hit, entertainment purposes only. I felt like Marjorie Taylor Greene's husband knows a lot and that he's telling her he wants this and that from the divorce or he's going to write a tell-all book. Because there's no um, con uh, contract they had. So he's going to write, he, he's threatening her in some sort of way. I don't know what this is, but he's looking for, you know, more than his share. I just saw that. I don't know what it is, but he's going to, he couldn't even talk trash about her. So, you know, I think she wasn't loyal or something, but it's not for us to judge them. But I just saw that. I just wanted to tell you, because, you know, sometimes when I get those hits. Now, this weekend, I'm going to work on the, the all the people. I might have to retype this out because it's small. It's hard to read. I'm going to have to do all the governors and senators and congressmen. Um, uh, but I did talk to my girl, uh, my political girl, and she said it doesn't look like Stacey Abrams is going to win. But I'm not going to say no yet. I'm going to take a good hard look at it. Okay? So I don't want you guys to worry. Like I told you, don't watch all the stuff going on with it. Don't look at the news. Remember they said they're going to start to saying, oh, it's close. I don't even think some of it is close. I really don't. But I could be wrong. But anyway, and listen to Andre's video of what he says about it and also i'm not feeling any armageddon any god awful thing i see people oh it looks like my tv's on that's why those slides are doing that oh sorry about that you guys but i i see i see that the um the people of russia coming together and saying no we don't want this no more um and also, there were some other questions here that wouldn't have got, gone to Andre. Hold on, where is it? One second. So, so I asked Andre about the economic uh, situation and he's not seen a crash you know, some of the planets are similar to 2008. I see fluctuation, but I'm not seeing, uh, and I'm not trying to butter up or just like when people ask me, you know, give me the truth. Don't sugarcoat it. I'm telling you, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing, in 2008 I saw it, but I'm not seeing that this time. Um, uh, let's see. And then you guys are, a lot of you guys are asking about abolishing the electoral college. That won't happen until after the presidential elections in 2024. Um, also, uh, don't worry about the SCOTUS thing, about Trump referring to them, because it's not going to work out in Trump's favor. Listen to Andre's video, because he talks about some aspects that are going on, and it's not looking good for Thomas. For Trump, it's not good, okay? Um, you, some people are asking for me to look at Loretta Lynn. Um, some people can get somebody right away. I, You know, when you cross, you're automatically in the realm. You're automatically connected to the realm. And she has so many families and friends. And I don't know how sick she was depending on how sick you were, that determines your, your transference to the other side. But I feel a lot of happiness from her. And I think her husband's there. And I think, did she lose a son? I see a son or something she was happy to see. So it, it, it feels like she's going through so much joy 
that um, it's as great as she expected, if not better, but she's too energetically connecting over there and in healing that she can't just, you know, if all the psychics in the world decided to tap into her, it'd just be too much. So, uh, listen, that Supreme Court judge, Kat Katanji Brown Jackson, she is fantastic. She will be proven to be one of the best justices. In fact, Ruth Gator Ginsburg is rooting her on. I mean, she is fantastic. I saw some of the stuff she said when they were trying to bring forth this voting thing. Oh, well, it's not really a, a, a black issue. Yeah, it was. It was uh, Lincoln made sure this happened because they didn't want freed slaves to be worked against. So she knew, she knew the details she presented it, bada bing, bada boom. I loved it. She will be known as one of the best justices. Just like that friend I met that said, um, who, who would know? But Merlin, Merlin, what's, I just went blank on our uh, uh, Attorney General. Merrick Garland, why did I want to say Merlin? Merrick Garland will be known as one of the best politicians or uh, Attorney Generals. He's not a politician. He'll go down in history as a fantastic person. You guys asked about Musk and Twitter. Well, listen, I threw the cards on that the other day. And, ooh, it didn't look good. It didn't look good. Uh, if he does get Twitter, he'll demolish it. It's almost like Twitter and him go down a cliff. So I don't know what that means, but let's just say it's not going to work out. And 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 uh, be sure to watch Andre because he brought up that somebody like him who's got too much ego and had made a lot of money quickly and is even giving suggestions to uh to ukraine about what to do on this war it's like what you you really have no business giving them any kind of it's, he's telling them what to do what lands to give up and stuff it's really weird so anyway so yeah it, elon musk he's just got a little bit overkill um okay the Saudi oil cuts. So let me tell you something. I guess the president is working with Venezuela. And I see them getting more oil in even some of the lands I have. Uh, some native lands and some other ones. Because they're, they're not using those, which is weird. But I see them upping production. So we can walk away. Because they, they're going to walk away from Saudi with helping them defensively, and they're nothing without our help defensively. They're wide open, they're ready to be hit. So uh, if we decide to sanction them that way, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. But they're getting a little too big for their you know what. And also we're going electric, at least hybrid, the, the need for gas will go down. But I'm not poo-pooing it. I definitely see a little crunch and then I see it going down, but not because of them, because we're getting it from someplace else. Uh, I see uh, um, I see that Texas will turn purple. I do see that. Um, I still feel Beta will win, but I'll sit down and really do a good look at that. But I do see it turning purple. Um, okay, somebody want <laughs> they called Mar Larda go. Listen, what's really going to hit him, 45, is this whole tax evasion and not paying taxes. He's going to really get hit there. And you wonder why he hasn't been arrested. And I've been telling you guys. I see him being, um, a, a Rudy Giuliani is getting arrested, by the way. I see him having to answer for the stuff, but I'm not seeing in jail. And I don't know why I've said that till I'm blue in the face. Um, but he's going to lose a lot of properties and stuff. He's going to be in huge trouble. So it's not going to work out for him at all. So 
I talked to um, Andre and there's some aspects going on right now, but it's not shock and awe for October, November. But Biden's, Biden's chart is excellent for November. Now, how could it be good if it ended up bad, if you know what I mean? Do spirits haunt the White House? Oh, and you know, too bad we couldn't go in there. And it's just like I told you, eventually um, the UK will allow the big castles to be opened up for tourists. And I'm telling you, there's ghosts in there too. They just can't talk about it out loud. But yeah, there's definitely, somebody opened their door. There was a knock at their door. It might've been um, the, a king or queen of some nation. This was years ago. And Abraham Lincoln was standing there. So I thought, Whoa. so wouldn't you just love to go there? But yeah, of course, it's old. The, it, and there's another White House built on the White House. So the slaves had built one part and now they've added to it. There's old, old wood in there. So the vibrational energy is still holding on, but it'd be cool. I'll have to look it up. Ghosts in the White House. Uh, I do not see the Supreme Court ruling in favor of Trump. Absolutely beyond a reasonable doubt. No. Yes, and will Trump and his family get what they deserve? Now, don't forget what I told you. We cannot think in terms of, you know, a plague on both your houses. As hard as that is, we can't be gleeful. As much as we want to go, yay! We, we do get to be gleeful about justice, but you can't wish bad on others. You can't do it as much as you want to do it. So, yeah, they're going to get some just desserts, but let me tell you, you'll almost feel sorry for them. I know that sounds great, great. Although some people won't feel sorry. Um, but try to be careful when you catch yourself being too, you don't want to go into that. Remember a long time ago, I told you guys, we got to get off the Trump train. We got to stop talking that negative stuff on Trump. You guys, some of you guys were mad at me. How could you say that? But later they said, I realized what you meant because we're just putting more of that resistance out. Just wait for it. So um, is Beto the reincarnation of RFK? No, he's not. RFK is still over there. Will Lula win the Brazilian general election? Yes. And and I just got done talking about that with our our guy, our astrology alert. Okay, so will Trump be here's the one on time? Will Trump be left comparatively penniless? And will he be shunned by his followers? That's gonna happen. That's the rats jumping the ship that I predicted a while ago. There's just so many lies and they keep trying to hold him up. And I don't know if you saw that this last place he was at big old ad in the paper stand ins. They need to hire actors to come in for his events. I think he pays $50. Is it $50 or $150? So a lot of like those, uh, those, there's some people back there that you see all the time. They're paid actors. They come on. He's got to pay for people to come. Okay. Which is a shame. So anyway, I just wanted to come on to thank for the gifts because I keep forgetting about presenting the gifts. And I just want to tell you guys, absolutely 100% guaranteed, all will be well. And thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Um, I'm so found, glad I found YouTube. Even with the cray cray, the stuff that went on, I'm so glad I found it because I've met all of you. We have Sterling on Sunday. People are thrilled. And um, it's just a good family. It's like you guys are family to me. Love you very much. And we shall talk again. Cheers.